I crave the indulgence of the house for making this statement on the opening day of the parliament as I wish to take honorable members into confidence at the earliest opportunity about the extremely difficult foreign exchange position in which we find ourselves at present. Our foreign exchange reserves have declined more or less steadily during the current fiscal year. Some decline during the months of April-September when export receipts are usually low is a normal feature of our balance of payments. The decline in reserves during April-September 1984 however, was almost twice as large as in the same period of 1983. The decline in reserves has continued during the past four or five months when we should normally be gaining reserves in order to meet the requirements of the coming lean season for exports. On February 12, 1985, the foreign assets of the Reserve Bank stood at about Rs. 700 crores. As honorable members are aware, the Reserve Bank is required to hold a minimum Rs. 800 crores of reserve in the form of gold and foreign securities. The Reserve Bank has been able, in fact, to abide by this requirement for some time only on the basis of a transfer to the Bank of Gold which the government had acquired over the years. Para. The recent decline in reserves is the result of a variety of factors. In view of shortages of food grains in the country and the pressure on prices we have had to provide for larger imports of food and fertilizers against free foreign exchange. Payments on account of defense imports have also been increasing and we have had to provide for larger repayment obligations in respect of the growing volume of our indebtedness abroad. While exports have been rising, the increase this year had not been as large as in 1983-84 and it has not been reflected fully in the receipt of foreign exchange. A part of the increase in exports has been to countries with whom settlements in trade and payments are made in rupees. There is reason to believe that export earnings have been lower because of higher interest rates elsewhere. A part of the decline in reserves may therefore be short term in character and may be expected to reverse itself over.